But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun again. Uh, you know, the Muslims, they always try to duct tape their prophet. Their prophet, he found the sunset in the murky water. The Quran confirmed that, the Hadith confirmed that, the Muslims did deny that. Denial will not batch or patch the stupidity of Muhammad. Our Skype is open, and a Mohammedan is free to call if he wish. But we confirm, and you will confirm with us, even if you are a Muslim, even in your heart, that Islam is the most stupid religion ever you can imagine. He is a God who promised me if I believe in him, I will go to heaven and I will be effing women nonstop. Obviously, this is a God. And this God, he promised me uh, two heaven of gold and two heaven of silver. And here we ask ourselves, like, what the heck? <laughs> First, this is ugly, stupid, and obviously this God, he is trying to tempt me by gold and silver and penis. So I will make your penis happy, excuse my language. I will make your pocket full of gold, but isn't everything in this heaven for free? I mean, I mean what, what is the value of gold if nobody need it? If nobody need to go to work and nobody need to uh, earn money uh, to make living, it's it's it stupid even the promises. So the devil always, if we ask a Muhammadan what the devil he used to tempt us, they would say to you, money, sex. They'd say that. But this is is it this is exactly what your God is promising us? Isn't it this is exactly word by word what your God is promising us? And then when Muhammad he speak about how you will F a woman, excuse my language again and how you will have a very hard push. Why he is talking in such a language? I mean, what, what does that mean exactly? He's trying to tempt you that you will if hard? Uh, if this is the case, well, you can do it that here, you know? <laughs> you can earn gold here, you can earn silver here in this earth, and you can if hard here. But, when you study carefully, you will notice that this is nothing but a promise of a maniac, sex maniac, who have nothing in his head except how I can tempt my men so they will die for my sake. If you ask a Muhammadan, do you have a... Muhammad is a prophet, right? Like if we go right now, and we try to search to find some article or video on YouTube or anything that Muhammad is a prophet, you know, you will find that the Muslims, they have thousands, if not millions of videos trying to confirm that Muhammad is a prophet for sure. And he have a lot of scientific discovery.
if we search as an example, <clears throat> What is what evidence the Muslims they have for us? You know, just type like proof. What is the proof that Islam from God or anything? A falsification test. Falsification test. I mean, look who is talking about falsification test. <laughs> proof that Allah is exist. Look at this guy. Okay, if the, if we click and we try to watch. Are we going to find that the proof that Allah is exist? This guy, he will read for you a verse from the Quran saying Allah, he said that Allah is exist. I mean, have you ever heard of him, the stupidity of the logic of this cult? What is the proof that Allah is exist? Allah, he said that he is exist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How to prove to an atheist that Quran, God's word. If we, if we play the video, we, should we play the video so we die laughing again? I mean, it's a joke. How, how we prove that? But this video is 11 minutes. We can't play every 11 minutes. But how, how to prove that God, Allah is God to an atheist? You know, he will say to you, the Quran says that Allah is God. True story, brother. He's thinking. He may be coming from a religious background, but he may not agree that the God which his parents are worshipping is what to be called as God. The reason I congratulate atheist is because he has said the first part of the Islamic Shahada, Islamic creed, La ilaha, there is no God. The only thing I have to do is prove to him illa Allah, but Allah, which I shall do inshallah. Hmm. To the other so guys, in Shahada, we say there is no God, but then we say except Allah. There's no God, but except Allah. But this is, this is against the Quran, because the Quran confirmed that there is many gods, and this is a contradiction. If we go in the Quran, just to show you this, this stupid cult, you know, if there's only one God, as Zuzu, he just said. So how the stupid Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? You ask any Muslim, how many creators there is, he will say only one. Like, why you are you saying that? Because you are a God who created everything. Okay, that makes sense, no problem. But then how you stupid God, he says he is the best of the creators. If there's only one God, and here you see that the Muslim, they, they, uh, they have false fiction translation. And look how stupid even translation says, uh, 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 belong to Allah, they change the word Allah to God, which is false translation again. The best creator. Even this is stupid translation, which is trying to hide the stupidity of the Quran. The second you say, best creator, well, that means he, there is other creators. But in Arabic, it says, Ahsanul Khaliqeen, which means the best of the creators. You change the translator, right away you will see it says, the best of the creators. Okay, how many creators we have? If you say that Allah is being a person who is exaggerating, you know, it's not really real creators. That's a lie. That means Allah is a liar. Because if I say I'm the best student and I'm the only student in the classroom, that means I'm lying about me being the best student. If I say I am the smartest between them and there's no them, only me, that even is more ugly lie. So when Allah, he says, he is the best of a creators, was he sharing the truth or he was sharing lie? My Skype is open if any Muslim would like to call us. And the challenge in the front of you, was Allah telling a lie or he was telling the truth? Is he the best of the creators or there is only one creator? 
I am assuming that there is no Muslim really will dare to speak about this topic because obviously Islam will look stupid and funny. We have a Muslim, but I don't know if this is text from now or from before, but I think from before. Let us see if we can text him, or I mean to call him, sorry. <clears throat> and if he answer, we put him live on here with us. Any Muhammadan, he feel like he can really help us in this topic, feel free, and we will be happy to hear you. Hello? 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 Okay, he's not answering, so we will hang up on him. Are you there? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. I see you text me. You would like to be, join us live on air? Uh, I, for a long time, I'm trying to connect with you. Okay. And today, uh, fortunately, I get you. All right. So you are a Muslim, my friend? Uh, From your name, I can tell you are a Muslim, yes. right? Okay. So did you hear what we are talking or you are not uh, with us on YouTube yet? Sorry? Did you hear our topic uh, or you are not in YouTube because we are live in YouTube? I don't know if you heard I am, me. I am watching, I am watching your uh, videos okay. for a long time. You know, I mean now, I mean now, Almost live. Almost two years. Yeah, I mean now, live right now. Do you, are you watching? Yes, 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 I am watching. Okay, yes. so we have a chapter 23, verse number 14 in the Quran, where Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. Did Allah tell the truth or he is telling a lie when he said he is the best of the creators? Best of the creators, uh, that, uh, it's uh, Arabic is Ahsan uh, al-Khalikin. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it means uh, best of the creature uh, or creators or uh, something else. What do you mean something else? He is the best of the creators. Creators is the creators. Creator is the one who would give life. Creator is the one who make things come to existence. As simple as that. If I make electricity, I'm generating electricity. I'm not making it really. You know, I learned about the electron, how the electron, they work. So I make a current and that will generate electricity. And that is not creating electricity. I'm just collecting it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm causing the, the, the electron uh, uh, to, to make a current and that will give me the energy. But here we are talking about creator in the, in the term of religion. And always a creator in term of religion is the one who can give life, correct? Yes. Yes, I, I know. I know it is your uh, one of the con uh, objection and uh, Surah, Surah Safat, I think, one twenty five verse also says that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what do you think? What is your response to this? Uh, uh, for me, this is something stupid. For you, this is something I smart. Some, I I asked some scholar, but uh, they can't uh, answer satisfactory level. So they did not give you a good answer. You did not like their answer. Uh, no, I am not satisfied with their answer, actually. So what do you think yourself now? As long as they could not give you the satisfaction of answer, you as a Muhammad, and what do you think? You know, you know, there is uh, there is many objections, uh, such as Allahu Akbar. You you said you have many videos about this topic. Allahu Akbar is not a correct uh, uh, correct sentence. Mm -hmm. huh? Allahu Akbar. Correct. Or uh, uh, Surah, uh, Surah 16, verse 103, hmm. verse, it also says uh, some best of the creators, uh, this type of uh, sentence. Okay. And I, I, I asked many hujurs or uh, many scholars, but they can't give me satisfactory answer. So what do what you think you should do? I mean, if, if you know, isn't it the Quran says that this is a book, we made it in clear details. The Quran says yeah, that. Many times, many times, Surah, uh, Surah Hud, hmm. uh, verse 1. Okay, so you know the many, Quran very well. I'm, I'm surprised that you know even how right away how to quote the verses for me. So you study the Quran very well. Uh, I know that. <laughs> I, I studied it uh, for, for uh, two or three years. 
Hmm. And I have uh, I'm watching your uh, most of the uh, videos. Okay, but Allah who explained the Quran very well, as the Quran says in many places. How come the Muslim scholars can't explain the Quran, even though Allah He said He explained the Quran? Yeah, is there is many. There are many. Uh, uh, I say uh, diversification, or they are not agreed. It's all Islamic scholars are not agreed uh, on some topics like this. There are very uh, uh, many topics like this. Uh, mm -hmm. They can't agree. My friend, but the, 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 I want you to listen to me carefully. If we have a God and he is God, he says he explained his book very well. Why even the scholars disagree about what Allah he explained? You see, if I say to you, I'm God, and when God, he says, I explain, don't you think that God's explanation should be perfect? I know that, but uh, you, you have to you have to take it into account another verse uh, that is, uh, I think, Surah uh, Bakara, Surah 2, yeah. that says that Muktaviyat or uh, something like that. Some well, this, are, is, this, no, is sorry, sorry. this is the contradiction. Surah Al-Imran, Surah Al -Imran. No, no, my, three, my, my friend, seven. my friend, but my friend, this is a contradiction. Because how he say we explain it in details, and then he says there is, you know, there is a, a part of the Quran nobody knows what means save Allah. And here you ask yourself, uh, obviously Muhammad he is copying other people's words. He do not know what to answer, how to answer, and now he maybe, he, he, maybe that maybe that indicate uh, that uh, uh, that clear verses, that verse uh, maybe indicate uh, that clear clear uh, verses, mukam verses. My friend, there's not a, single one, not, not a single verse in the Quran, it's called Muhkam. And I, I'm showing you just as a simple, like you see, when you ask the Muslims about those uh, verses, which is nobody knows what they mean, they will say to you, like as an example, Alif Lam Mim. But they don't mention this one. The one is Allah, the best of the creators. The Muslim, they claim they understand this verse very well. They don't say that this is part of those. The one they claim, nobody knows what they mean, like Alif Lam Mim, you know, Yasin. Uh, uh, but Alif Lam Mim, uh, I think you uh, you have said in your book that uh, Alif Lam Mim every uh, every letter has some uh, equal number, uh, equal numbers. number, exactly equal number, and that will lead us to that uh, that Jesus is our God, Christ is our Lord, you know. And this is why it exists. Yeah. This is why it exists in the chapter of Maryam, you know. Chapter of Maryam. So when we go to chapter of Maryam, we will find right away there's something about Jesus right away. And it, that that is says Jesus is my God. But the Muslim, I they, your, they... I read your book. I read your book okay. about this uh, but My friend, we don't, wanna, we don't want to confuse people now. We want to focus together, me and you. So, But what does Alif Lam Mim mean? What does Alif Lam Mim mean? Muslim do not I don't know. know. The Muslims do not know. Right? Muhammad himself do not know. Do Allah know? In your no. book, in your okay. book, you uh, explained Alif Lam Ra. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that Jesus is your God, is our God. Yeah. Uh, but what does Alif Lam Mim mean? Well, you know, there is there is many explanation for for every one of them. I believe Muhammad was copying from a Christian, uh, uh, you know, uh, books. Like even the Muslim, they agree that Muhammad was copying, or he uh, there's a. Uh, uh, Waraka, who she, he was a monk, right? And you have, he, said, he, you have said in your book Waraka and uh, uh, another one, monk Bohira. Yeah. But, uh, but Waraka. Have made, you, you have said they are, that this is a theory. Well, it can be a theory. You see those numbers, but the numbers fit perfectly. You know what I mean? And those numbers fit perfectly with the chapter of Maryam, as an example, Kahayas, you know? So. Those numbers are exist before Islam, and the letters they are they have equal numbers have nothing to do with the Christians. This is before Islam, and this has nothing to do with Muslims or Christians. So, uh, uh, how the Muslim can explain it? They cannot. You know, the numbers is there. Anybody... I, I, I want to know what what is the source of this uh, uh, value of these letters. What is the source? You, you can go right now. This is exists long. This is from the Aramaic language. The Aramaic language when the Aramaic they are under occupation. They use according words. So when the Christian Aramaic, you know, uh, they are discriminated by the Roman. Uh, they want to write letter to each other. 
and the Roman, if they stop them and they find the letter, they won't understand the word, they use the coding system so nobody knows really what it's meant. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay. for sure, somebody smart come with this uh, coding and everybody knows about it. You can go right now, search it in Google. It's all over. Even the Muslims, they use it for their own benefit too. You know, they claim that those coding fit with the Quran and many verses. But uh, there are many uh, uh, verses like this Alif Lam Mim, Toha, like this verse. Uh, can you uh, can you explain this kind of any any verse? My any friend, more verse? Let, let us let us focus. Yeah, you know we can explain. But the Muslims at the end of the day they will say uh, this guy is making up lies, and uh, even though the numbers they fit with his uh, what he, his calculation, but doesn't mean really it's mean anything. You know this is his assumption. And this is his game. He is playing a game, right? Uh, but they will not accept. They, but themselves, they have no answer, you know. And this, and the same time, if we say that Allah He gave us a Quran, and this Quran is a message to mankind for guidance, we find that this verses, even the Quran describing as mutashabihat, which means very confusing, right? So this is not a guy. Not only that, actually, the Quran says that those verses is going to be used by the one who have uh, sickness in their heart, correct? Yes. Okay. So why Allah, he want to create verses, will cause sickness in the heart? Is he sending a message for guidance or he's sending a message for deception? I have this question also, but... No focus with me with this one. As long this God, who claimed to be God, saying I send you part of the Quran, which is uh, uh, not clear, and that will be used by the one who have sickness in their heart. But those are Muslims. You see, the, the one who agree with the Quran anyway is the Muslims, not the Christians. For us, we laugh at it. Yes. Okay, so why yes. Allah want to cause deception to the Muslims? Hmm, it's a question. Okay. So I have some question uh, to you today. I have learned something. I, I can share. I want to share with you. All right. And that is uh, Surah Four. Okay. Uh, Surah Nisa. All right. Uh, verse. Verse number. Verse number uh, 23. All right, what about it? Uh, that is an uh, adulterated uh, child, uh, a man who, uh, who commit adulteration uh, can marry his own child, own, uh, own daughter. Yeah, well, this is existent. Imam Shafi, Imam, Imam Shafi says that. Okay, and I agree with you. But this is exist again in the chapter 25, verse number 54. You know, where it says, which, which, which chapter? Which chapter again? Chapter 25, verse number 54, where it says, which, yeah. which, 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 You know, if you go yeah. and read the interpretation, you will see that if you have sex with a woman, she is not your wife, and you have a daughter from her, you can have sex with the mother and the daughter of the mother. Hmm. Which means oh, it's a shocking thing, but uh, most of the Imam only Imam Shafi. Uh, there are four Mahaja, well, Mahaja no. actually, you know that. Actually, in this and verse, only... yeah, no, in this verse about chapter 25, verse about uh, 54, it says, according yes. to the most accurate opinion and the majority of the scholars, they say it is allowed. Oh. It's not but, only, uh, it's not the, only the, the Shafi. Uh, 23, it says only Imam Shafi agreed, agreed yeah, on this This is in one interpreta interpretation. But here, <clears throat> sorry, if you open the chapter, if, if, if you open the book of Al Qurtubi, as an example, and I can show it to you on the screen, I don't know if you can read Arabic. It says here, and here it says that if a man he have a sexual intercourse, <laughs> With the women and the women she have, he have a daughter from her, you know, uh, that yes. will not go under 
that will not go under the statement of Allah saying it's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter. Why? Because she is from adultery. Because she is not a, a daughter to him according to the most accurate opinion of the scholars, not one, not two. And the most accurate opinion in the religion. It's in the front of your eyes. And then he explained, he said, and if there is no relationship by uh, legal marriage, so there is no uh, 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 relationship between them. Therefore, it's not forbidden to have sex with the daughter and the mother of the daughter. And here we go. I have the link in the front of you. I'm going. I can post it for you in the in the chat, so you can copy it and you can use Google Translation in case reading Arabic is difficult for you. And actually, I will use here translation to English. And again, this is. Al Qurtubi, this is the official government website of the government of Saudi Arabia. You know, so Allah He made a human lineage by law. Translation is not accurate. I, 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 can, okay. see, I can see your uh, screen. Uh, please help me. I'll, yeah, I, I, will, I, I, will, I, will, I will pause the link. Give me a second. I will pause the link. Let me give. Uh, let me pause the link in the in the chat so you can open the link from there and you can save it for your own reference. And now your scholars, they will be, uh, uh, they will be uh, like. Uh, shouting and saying to you this guy is lying but we are giving the reference as you see and this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia this is not a website owned by this guy and that guy this is government website if you go in the top it says quran.ksu.education.sa right okay all right okay so you will, see, you will see here that allah mighty he made lineage only by marriage and anything out of marriage is not is not to be considered uh, lineage therefore yes. this daughter she is not his daughter but she is his daughter i mean he stepped with her mother and he made her have this child yeah yes but because she is not a daughter from marriage therefore yes, she yes. is not considered as a daughter so he can have sex with her and as you see here mm. says and uh, 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 he says this is the most accurate according to the two the most two opinion of according to the scholars the most accurate and the most correct this, the, this is al, this is al qurtubi this is al qurtubi yes this is al qurtubi yes this is al qurtubi the uh, the problem is uh, the problem is qurtubi is written in arabic we uh, i i can't uh, uh, read friend, arabic you, well friend, and okay. there is you no translation in my language you can use google uh, translation you can use uh, google translation it's easy you know sometimes yes yes and here okay. it says this is why it's not forbidden to do fornication with the daughter here the translation coming to the uh, bent as a daughter as a girl and the mother of the daughter it's not forbidden <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's so silly. I it think. is very stupid and very disgusting because now you, they are they are approving you to have sex with your mother. Actually, in Islam, there is no penalty if you have sex with your mother or your daughter or your sister, even if she is, you know, from remarriage. I mean, like for for sure, like a, a, a you know, a, your daughter from marriage. The Quran says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. Correct. But yes, even yes, if yes. you do, there's no penalty. And I chose the Muslim to show me the penalty for doing that. No, there's no penalty. You know? Yes. There's yes, no yes. penalty. And actually, uh, uh, the same, I think, as Shafi and Al Hanafi, they, they believe that if a man has sex with his mother, there's no penalty too. <laughs> My God. It's, uh, uh, and uh, where, where I can find this information? Uh, also, Al Qutubi. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, had. Give me a second. All right. <clears throat> okay, now we have. Let us see. Abu Hanifa, you know who's Abu Hanifa, right? Yes, yes, okay. Abu I know that. Tell One the of the, tell the people who, who, is Abu, who is Abu Hanifa. Tell them, you know, tell the people who they are listening. 
one of the biggest imam okay. i think all right he says there is no penalty for anyone who had uh, 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 who did marry his mother or his daughter or his sister or his grandmother <laughs> and let me give you the reference uh, <clears throat> but surah nisa is it's forbidden uh, yeah, it's forbidden, but there's the things that's forbidden, but it's okay if you do it. There's no penalty anyway. You know, it's forbidden. Don't do it. But still, like eating pork. You know, you can eat pork. You cannot eat pork. But if you eat pork, nobody will beat you, and there's no penalty. So, uh, it says here, let me show you. Let us see, here we go. This is, uh, I'm, I just, I found a different book, but this is the same, it's about Abu Hanifa. Uh, Al-Muhalla Ibn Hazm, variant number 11, page number 253. And now we will use Google Translation, we will go back down here, and you will see it says <coughs> that there is no penalty, لا حد على من تزوج أمه التي ولدته وابنته or, and, and his sister, and his grandma, grandmother, and his auntie, from his father's side or from his uh, mother's side and even the, the, the his niece or his nieces and the daughter of his niece you know even if he knew even if he knew that those are his mother his daughter his sister his granddaughter or his niece or etc and i will use google translation he will go again all right this is islam my friend it's not, but this no book, penalty. how much uh, defendable or authentic these books are? Uh, uh, my friend, those are the scholars. What authentic? Even this one need authentic. This is not Sahir Bukhari. This scholar was 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 alive not long time ago. I mean, this is not like from the time of Muhammad. Who and wrote the, this book? Who wrote this book? And who quote Abu Hanifa? The one Abu Hanifa who said that, you know, and the one who wrote I know, this book uh, is uh, maybe uh, here, Abu Hanifa is, said that. Here, but who here, quote Ibn, this book? Ibn Hazm. Ibn Hazm is the one who quote, who is uh, uh, writing this book. But there is many other books we can show you. They are quoting all of them from, uh, you know, Abu Hanifa. So, uh, uh, do you think like really a scholar like Ibn Hazm is going to say such a thing if it's not true? The, the Muslim will kill him alive. You know that. You know, this is not a joke. Yes, yes. You know, I mean, in uh, an Islamic country, if you live in Pakistan, if you say uh, you make one post, we we'll consider it as an insult to the Prophet. You will be come shish kebab in two second. Correct. So yes. those are people published by Islamic scholars, by Islamic university, and they study their books, and even their sect, Ibn Hanifa, is one of the Islamic sect, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, there's hundreds of millions following uh, uh, Al-Hanif and Nu'man. So, when they say, when, they say uh, uh, when he says such a thing, everybody copy him. So they are just copying what it says. Mm. So now, not only we have a, a, a false god who says stupid things in his book, we have false followers who say disgusting things, explaining what Allah he said, based on their understanding of Islam. You can have sex with your daughter, your mother, even if you know, even if you know that she is your daughter or your mother or your sister, even your grandmother. I mean, they went so far to the point, even a grandmother, you know? I mean, how, how how filthy a human being to go to go to his grandmother, his nieces, his uh, sister. I mean, who is left? Who is left? But it is forbidden. But if one can one do that, that uh, he is committing sin. I think. My friend, if he just said there's no penalty, it means where is the sin there? You know, and if, even if you say it's a sin. But as long as there's no penalty, it's mean you did not do something bad. So imagine, if you drink wine, they will beat you. <laughs> if you mm -hmm. have sex with your mother, there's mm -hmm. no penalty. I mean, mm -hmm. do you see how stupid this cult is? Yes, brother. I have I have, I have uh, some some other topics too. I have to I want to discuss with you. That is uh, Surah Al um, uh, Ikhlas, uh, one one two. Hmm. Hmm. So Al Ikhlas, uh, that is Kulhu uh, Allahu Ahad. Ahad means you said that uh, one of. Yes. 
but uh, uh, in our translation, uh, I find that it is one or single. Wahid, that means single two. But you said Ikhad is one. Ikhad. Yeah. yeah. I'll explain to you. First of all, yeah, I will pause the link, the one about, about uh, you can have sex with your mother. I just post the link in the chat, so in case you want to take it and save it for yourself okay. for later reference, if you speak to those who, who claim to be sheikh. Uh, secondly, about Ahad, my friend, you cannot make one sentence using the word Ahad without saying one off. And the proof of that, I will type the word Ahad in the front of your eyes, in the screen. I will type it, you know, just as it is Ahad. Here, I will type it, and I will click search. Sorry, I can't see the screen. How can I see your screen? Uh, please are, help me. We are in YouTube. Uh, I am you on Skype. You are not in YouTube. Mute YouTube. I am on Skype. <laughs> yeah, I mute, am in mute Skype. YouTube. Open YouTube, mute, but mute YouTube so we don't have double sound. Keep listening to me from Skype. You know, <clears throat> and you can take yourself. You can take the word ahead. You know, from the same verse you mentioned. Copy it. Put it in the search engine. Click search, and you will find not a single one of them is not coming as a sentence as one off. It's impossible. The second you say ahad, it is one off. Ahadun minkum, ahadun minhum, ahadun minna, ahadun min al alamin, ahadun min al That means we can't make. Uh, that means we can't make a sentence with ahad. We cannot make a sentence with the word ahad without the meaning coming as one off. One off. Yes. Yeah, this yes, is why yes. you see. This is why you see that ahad always is coming as there's a connection after it. You know. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, you have to compare, like you know, when you say ahad, right away something will come after it, you know, and uh, 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 or you say lam yakun hunaka ahad. No, nobody was there, you know, nobody. But nobody it still is a body out of many bodies, you know. So uh, all of these verses in the Quran, and you can search as you wish. All of them they use the word ahad, and all of them. As an example, he the Qala Yusuf li Abi, he chapter twelve, verse number fourteen. If he when when so chapter twelve, sorry, sorry, it is slowly. Chapter chapter twelve, verse verse number four. Four. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Chapter twelve, verse verse four. Yeah. Okay, carry on. Here you will see that the word ahad is coming as ahad ashar, ahad ashar, which means number eleven. Ahad uh, Ashara. Uh -huh. Ahad Ashara. Yeah, yes, yes, I okay. can find it. Ahad, 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 Ahad Ashara. One, which means one ten. One ten. This is eleven. So um, the one in, or, in order to be one, you have to have other numbers. So even when you use it as a number, it have to be yes, yes. part of numbers because if 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 the Muslim even when they say that Allah is one, one what? When you say one, there's two, yes, there's yes. three, there's four, there's five, you know? So, uh, Ahad Ashar is uh, one and uh, ten more, that one is eleven. Ten. Yeah. So, the same goes for any uh, other, like uh, uh, as an example, chapter 19, verse number 98. It says here. Chapter 19, verse 98. Yeah. Yes. This is the word Ahad appearing there. It says, this is a translation saying, find a single yes. one, single one of them. Okay, what, what is this word single? And where is single one? This translation saying that, the Arabic saying, La, al, hal tuhissu minhum min ahadin. So you did not... Minhum min ahadin. Yeah, yes. min ahadin. See, ahadin. the min is always coming either before or after, sometime before, sometime is after. Because it's one off. And that goes tons of times all over the Quran. So how come only that verse in the Quran, just only one verse, only one verse in the Quran, the Muslim, they say that I had mean one. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You will see but, here. Uh, it, is the, it, is, it is one of the best uh, defensive uh, surahs, I think. No, it's uh, actually, the, actually, it is very, it, no, my friend, this, this chapter is very stupid and I will tell you why. Because and uh, Jackie Knight also says the falsification test. You have said uh, uh, this uh, this issue that Jackie Knight uh, uh, said that uh, if any candidate uh, if, uh, so accept these four 
for uh, I mean uh, Surai class. Mm. If they meet with these conditions, then he can be a god. Okay, yeah, that's good. Well, as long as long uh, 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 that uh, fit would not be God, well, the Quran mentioned Baal, and Baal is not born. He did not give birth. And Allah, he says, are you going to, to, to seek uh, Baal and forsake Allah, the best of the creators? So yes, the, yes, yes. So the, yeah, so the Quran confirmed that Baal is a creator, but Allah is better. Because when you say he, he is the best of the creators and you mention Baal next to your name, that's mean Baal is a creator. He's confirmed and he is not born. He did not give birth. And he is one Baal. There's no two Baal. Well, that means that Allah and Baal are God. Same time, the Quran has ba a... Baal is a, Baal is a deity uh, who, uh, who is worshipped by Israelis, uh, I think. No, my friend, Baal is a God, is a God who worshipped by all Middle Eastern, uh, or even in Asia. He is the God of fertility. So people before... In but this, sometimes, in this... sometimes, uh, Bani Israel, uh, Bani well, Israel well, some people of Bani Israel worship uh, Baal. My friend, that will not change anything. Baal is an ancient god, fake god, false god. People worship him in many nations. Uh, uh, the Israeli, they follow many other pagan before, and that's why God punished them from time to time. But that will not change any fact that the Quran confirmed that the best of the creator is Allah, and Baal is a creator. When I say, why you seek Baal when I am the best of the creators? That means he's a creator too, but I'm better than him. Yes, this is a question, I think. And uh, you know, remember, and what does why and, and remember, what does and, 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 and remember, mean? And remember, dear brother, what does what does wahid means? Wahid means Surah Safat, uh, verse four. Wahid. Yeah, wahid means one. Wahid means one. Yeah, wahid means one, but always one. Uh, yeah, yeah, have to be one off because as we showed you, but here the wahid is better than ahad. You know, because wahid by itself mean one. Single. Single. One. Yeah. But when you say ahad, that is wrong language to say. Because I say ahadu tulab, one of the student, ahadul khaliqin, one of the creators, ahadul masakin, one of the poor, ahadul al kadibin, one of the liars. So ahad always is a connection to a description of others. Here, so, so I can say that this is not complete sentence. It's Allah not. Had, exactly, it's not, not. It's not. It's not. It's it's a it's a stupid sentence. Actually, the Quran is full of stupid uh, uh, Arabic words. You know. I see. And then uh, can you uh, can same, you show same, same me time, uh, same, 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 same time, my, my friend? Same time. Same time. Uh, you 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 are you quote for me the chapter of a Safat, right? Yes. Did you see how stupid this uh, chapter is? How? Okay, what kind of God he swear? Uh, Muhammad, he claimed that As-Safat is angels. But angels. I don't know where he got this from, but we will let it go. So the Muslim, they created dictionary to fit with the Quran. So As-Safat, suddenly they are angels. And then he says, by those, the angels. Why God is swearing by the angels? I know there are very many verses Allah swears with many things. No, no, no. What, what is the meaning, my friend? When, angels. When, when God, he talk, mm -hmm. God is trying to teach me something, correct? Yes. God don't just he don't part. You know he, this is not part. This is God word. So God he says by the. I angel. think he need not to he need not to swear by anything. His word is word. I think. His what? Because he is God. Yeah, but he but, need not to swear by anything. Exactly. No, but not only that. This is stupid swearing because what does that mean? But by when you say, you know, I swear by this, I did not do that. That makes sense, correct? Okay, but when you say by the angels, and then you did not say why you are swearing. And then he said to us, verily Allah, you know, is one. Okay, yes. so is he swearing just to tell us that Allah is one? Do you need, do God need to swear <laughs> to tell us that mm. he is one? I swear that I am mm. one? I That's stupid. Mm. You know, you swear in front of a higher authority. Yes, but, but there are uh, many uh, many things, stars, uh, AR, boat, uh, angels, 
And this kind of thing Allah swears by this thing. What this thing? And then he says, and those angels who drive the cloud, the angels they drive the cloud, you know, in chapter 13, verse number 13, the Quran says that... The, <laughs> That, that, I, I read this verse. Yeah. So the angel, the th thunder is Mr. Thunder is an angel. Thunder. Yes. Well, okay. What kind of God he says such a stupid thing? So every, wherever you go with this Quran, yes. you know, it's just a stupid it, line. It is not directly. Uh, it is not directly says in this verse, but uh, it is uh, Tafsir who says that. You no. Know, no. You see, when Tafsir, the Tafsir depends on what Muhammad said. Muhammad is the one who, uh, you know, when, when Muhammad did not give tafsir, the Muslim, they do is jihad, which means they compare it to what, you know, what the prophet said, like they, to, to get it close to the meaning, you know. Uh, but when Muhammad, he say, that's it, Muhammad, he say. Hmm. Who is the one, why, why, why the Muslim, they come to the conclusion uh, that the thunder is an angel who drives the cloud, and he has 70,000 angels in his right and 70,000 angels in his left. And when he moves his hand to the right side, the first 70,000 they scream. When he moves his hand to the left side, the other 70,000 they scream. Where did they get this from? Hmm. And the sound is uh, uh, angel sound, sound. The sound is his uh, fire belt, his fire belt, which he beat the cloud with it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, and, you know, and, the one, and, the, and, the one, and the one who says that, the one who says that is Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, they ask, they ask him, Prophet of Allah, the, who is the one who asked him? The Jews, as usual, because the Jews is getting him busted. That he's a liar. They said to him, tell us about the rod. Looked like they were there, and they heard the thunder. So they told Mumu, uh, tell us, what is the thunder? Hey, we heard the thunder, what is that? Muhammad, he said, this is an angel. So the, the scholars, when they say that, is they are copying Muhammad. Read with me. This is this is Jami al Turmudi in the front of your eyes. It says here, a Jew he came to the Prophet and he said, "O oh Abu uh, uh, Abdul Abu Qasim, inform us about the thunder. What is it?" He said, "It is an angel among the angels who is responsible for the cloud. He has a piece of fire." Wherever that he drive the cloud, when, or, or, wherever Allah wills. And that's exactly what it says in the chapter of As Safa. That the, those, uh, those uh, you know, those Safat, they are the one who drive the cloud, correct? Yes. So this is in total agreement. And they said, okay, so then what is the noise we hear? Because we hear a noise. Muhammad now is giving you his uh, scientific answer. He said, when, uh, 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 when they said to him, then what is the noise we hear? He said, it is him striking the cloud when he drive them on until it goes where it's order. They said, you have told the truth. And look, and look at the fabrication here. You know, the Muslims are adding now that the Jews, they agree. <laughs> The Jews agree with Muhammad, guys. Okay, Muhammad, you told the truth. Okay, obviously, obviously, either the Jews here being sarcastic, making fun of him, or this is a fabrication. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? I mean, after all this garbage. Uh, no, dear friend. I am... Uh, I, I need to study more, I think. Uh, but isn't it enough what we showed you already? That Islam, uh, to prove to you that Islam is a garbage cult? Uh, not that. Do you believe that Tell me something. I want to know something uh, new. But uh, I, uh, because I read your two books, uh, uh, the deception of Allah and, and the Quran and science in depth. Okay. Um, but I have I have not uh, collected your uh, another book which is Sex and Allah. Okay. I can't find any kind of PDF. Hmm. But yeah, I know Muslim. They uh, get my books for free. You know they don't like to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You see, I I like to hold. It. Actually, that's why we are giving our books for free anyway. 
uh, we are giving them in many groups. But you can read my books in different languages. What is your, what's your original language? Bangla. Bangla. What's your Bangladesh? Bengal? Bangladesh. Okay. So my friend, yes. I mean, always there is something new to talk about, but you know, usually, like somebody have to give me the reason to share more information. We use usually what is enough to prove Islam to be stupid, you know? So even sometimes we repeat what we say in a previous uh, occasion, uh, but always there is something new, something more stupid. Like today, like you mentioned, this turned out to me, we did mention it, you know? If you did not mention, if you don't remind me of a Safat, I will not be mentioning that the thunder is an angel and Muhammad is the one who said that. And when you said to me, uh, where, you know, how the, but this is the scholar saying that, I said to you, no, this is not the scholars, this is what Muhammad said. So the scholars, when they explain the Quran, they come into their interpretation based on the stupidity of Muhammad. And here I believe the Jews are getting Muhammad busted. They are making fun of him. This guy, he claimed to be scientifically accurate. He knows everything. He can, they don't keep his mouth shut. Like, what he will lose if he say, well, I don't know, I will ask Allah. You know? Don't say anything. But this guy, he cannot keep his mouth shut. And the Jews, they knew that. The same one he did to the him when they asked him about Alexander the Great. You know? Uh, this, mm -hmm. You know, he cannot keep his mouth shut, and suddenly he came and he told them that the sun, he found the sun sitting in murky water and a spring of water, Jok, and, he, nine. and Gog yes, and Magog, yes, yes. and yeah, you know, so you know, this, this guy he don't keep his mouth shut. That's why I feel sorry for Muslims. And now Muslims, in order to, it's too late now to keep Muhammad's mouth shut, but they will try to do, they try to deny those things we show on the screen. As an example, you will see right now somebody saying to you, "This is naive." This is Daif, but this is not Daif, it says good, Hassan. And when we show them Hassan, you will see someone like this potato, Uthman. He say, Hassan, this is, they say Hassan, but it's not Hassan. <laughs> so, you know, they are very flexible, like, like a lizard. He changed his skin or his color, his skin color, the bend in the rock, he is standing on, you know. War is deception, and the Muslim believe that war is deception, so they are in war with everybody. And we will not share with the truth with you about what our God said because that will be used against us. A Muslim is like a person, you know, when the police arrest a criminal, he says to him, anything you say is going to be used against you by law. So what do you do? He deny everything. Doesn't matter what you are accusing him with, you know. But if the Muslims are sitting alone in the mosque, then you will find that the answers are different from the answer they give to Christians. As an example, when David Wood was talking to Mimi Hijab, he said to him, Allah have body parts. Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? All the Muslims, not a single one, they were laughing at David Wood. But the truth is, all of them, they knew that Allah, he have body parts. You can go right now on YouTube, you will find tons of Muslim clerics. Say David, yes, Allah David Wood, David Wood is not a debater like you, I think. Yeah, he's soft. He, you know, he's a he's a good guy. You know, I respect him, but he's soft. He's a, he's a good guy, but yeah, he needs to learn. Not a debater. Yeah, I, I don't agree with the way he debate because he need to be aggressive and he do not need to hesitate. They make mockery. Show them what mockery is. But you know, he 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 grow no, in different way. Actually, I think I think uh, our our aim is to seeking truth. So nobody. Uh, uh, Make fun of others. I don't think so. No, if you watch the we debate, not do that. if you watch the debate, the whole I... debate was a mockery of this guy. You know, it's a, it's a mockery, and they were not honest. Not a single guy. He said from the Jews says that God have a son. This is what Mimi Hijabi said. But the Quran says yes. The Jews they worship a man. His name is Uzair. Well, so, yes, I, I I read the I read Bible, but there is no no no, Uzair, no, not no Bible, person not, not in the Bible. Uzair. My friend, not in the Bible. The Quran. So when this guy, he said in the, in the debate, if we can call it a debate, not a single Jew, not a single Jew, and he repeat that, not a single Jew, believe that God has a son, and then his stupid Quran says that the Jews, they worship a man, he says, Uzair. and the Jews, not one Jew, as they try to fix it, the Jews, the Quran is so clear, if you go and read the interpretation, we say, there's one Jew, because later the Jews, they got them, uh, they encounter with them, and they said to them, we don't worship a guy, his name is Uzair. So the Muslim scholars they come with excuse, excuses. Oh, there was a where, guy. Where does Uzair? Where does where does Uzair come from? We do not I know. don't know. Can I? I can't find this name in Bible. Nobody know. Nobody knows. Only, only in Quran. Ask Muhammad. We do not know. <laughs> Ask Muhammad, my friend. If there, if that time there is, uh, there is any sect of Jews 
who believe that Uzair is son no, of God. My friend, it never exists. Secondly, uh, when you say something, prove it. It says here, suddenly, and even if there is a sect, this is stupid because it says the Jews, they say, and the Christian, they say. The Jews, they say, and the Christian, they say. And then we find that the Jews don't say that at all. And even, by the way, this verse here where it says the Jews, they say, is a stupid statement. And when it says the Christian, they say, it's a stupid statement too. Why? Because in different verse in the Quran, Muhammad, he said that kafar al qalu, they, they are kuffar, you know, those who they say that the Messiah is Allah. Correct? Yes. Okay. I, I see this. Okay. Yes. So how, how, how the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah in one verse. And then another verse, Allah is saying that the Christian, they say the Messiah is the son of Allah. It cannot be both. Either he is the son of Allah or he is Allah. So Muhammad is a stupid fool. He do not know what the Christian believe, what the Jewish believe. He is making hummus falafel, you know. Uh, so because you know, or or bin Nawfal, or bin Nawfal uh, was a Hanif or was a Christian. Uh, I believe that Warak bin Nawfal neither was a Hanif, neither was a Christian. I believe he was a Nasara. Nasara, Nasara is a sect, I think. Yeah. Nasara, no, it's a, it's a, it's a false. It's like Jehovah's Witnesses, you know. I don't know about um, Jehovah's Witness. Well, there is many. Uh, there is religions born of a Christianity, but they are not Christians. Okay, okay. All right. So, uh, and this is where Muhammad he copied this, like you know, the one who was on the cross. He looked like Jesus, but those the Nasara actually they don't deny that Jesus is God, you know. Uh, so one thing, just uh, one thing, I I want to share with you that uh, uh, verse three, verse three, uh, uh, verse three, uh, surah, surah three, verse fifty four, I think. Okay. Uh, one one forty four, one forty four. All right. Verse, uh, chapter three, verse one forty four. Okay. Oma Muhammadan uh, illa Rasulu. Hmm. Qad qad Rasulu. Yeah. That means uh, uh, Muhammad sallam, is a messenger and before him uh -huh. all messengers has gone. Pass away. Or passed away. Yeah. Passed away. Yeah. Then if it is true, then uh, uh, Jesus or Isa is also passed away. Exactly. And you will see this, the word khalat min qablihi is exists many places. You know, not only this, like in chapter, chapter verse number five, five, chapter five, uh, verse seventy-five. Chapter exactly. five, verse seventy-five. And chapter seven, verse number thirty-eight, and chapter uh, uh, thirteen, verse number six, and chapter thirteen, verse number thirty, and etc. You know, it's endless. So always it it's coming. Many messengers or uh, many messengers or no, all, all the messengers. No, it doesn't say many messengers. This is false translation. It says قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ Not, you see the Rusul, meaning the messengers. It doesn't say the word some, uh, 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 it says قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ All of them, they are gone. So the Muslim, when they translate... It indicates Isha, it indicates Isha or Jesus also has passed away. Yeah, yeah. And this is again showing us that Muhammad but, is a stupid but, fool. Uh, but uh, uh, we have uh, been heard that uh, he is uh, Allah is uh, taking him up to the sky. A friend, even even when that, even that verse, when it's supposed to Allah, he took Jesus to the sky. It says, "Inni mutawafika wa rafi'uka ilay." Correct. Yes. What mutawafika mean? But, causing, causing but same sentence, chapter five, verse seventy-five. It says uh, Jesus is a God, uh, Jesus is a uh, messenger, and uh, many messengers have been passed away before him. Which, which verse are you reading? Chapter 5, verse 75. Okay. Well, uh, 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 575, actually, if you read it. 575, yeah. Yeah. The, when, when the Muslims they say Must many, be... many messengers, you are reading what? You are reading translation? Bangla translation and okay. sometimes English yeah. translation. Okay, uh, uh, where it says many, where is the word many? 
in our in in my Bangla translation. I know, I know, but you are smarter than this. Shouldn't you ask yourself what is the word many? That's why I ask you that uh, it is uh, many or all. There is no many. It says qad khalat qad khalat min qablihi rusul. That's it. There is no many. That's a false translation. And here, mm, in the, the translation here, it says the word many too, in this translation here. But you can you can do this. You can, uh, uh, actually there's a website, I think it's called Quran.com something. When you move your your uh, your mice, uh, mouse, sorry, over the uh, over the word, it shows you the meaning one by one. And you will see that the word many is not there. Uh, Quran.com, I see, I see, I see that, but um, uh, they are bra in bracket, uh, it says many. See, that means it's not there, they add it to fix the Quran. Yes, yes, yes. So, so yes. Are, they, are they adding word to fix the meaning? If Allah, he did not use many, why the Muslims adding many? That's stupid. That is deception, that is fabrication, and that is a corruption. And the funny, they accuse of a corruption. If Allah did not say it, why you add it? If Allah said it, do that there, no problem, you know. But there is no way it says, he said, Allah. <coughs> you know, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, many, the word many. Yes, yes. So my friend, you are agreeing with me. Why you don't leave Islam then? Uh, I need to study more, I think. I mean, come on. Uh, you... After all of those garbage in the front of your eyes, you need to study more. What, you are going to ask the thunder if he's an angel? Uh... Are you convinced that the thunder is an angel? And he I, I can't depend on this. There is a multiple problem, I think. I, I, I said that. There is, there, I can't depend on tafsir, all the tafsir. But I showed, uh, you the, I showed you what Muhammad said. I did not show you the tafsir now. I showed you what Muhammad said. The Jews asked Muhammad. And Muhammad, he said, this is the reason. The Jews, they came to him and they said, okay, Prophet, what is this? Thunder, what is thunder? So this is not tafsir. I can say, I can go with you, say, okay, tafsir. Uh, those are scars. Maybe they are wrong. Maybe they can write. Maybe. maybe. But here, the Muhammad is saying that. Is Muhammad now is a person who do not understand yes, what Allah is saying? It is Sayyid uh, Tirmizi uh, you showed that, uh, that hadith. Uh, I know that. There is, uh, I, I face some problem. There is no explanation, but uh, I, I am uh, uh, talking to some uh, my scholars. And let's see what they say about this issue. My friend, why you don't call your scholars to join us right now? Just to show they you, are not just to show you that your scholars, to... now, I know, I want to show you that your scholars are a bunch of potatoes. They are the last one to call themselves scholars. And maybe you know more than them, and they, yet they call themselves scholars. You make a living. When somebody claims to be a scholar, okay, cool. If you are a scholar and you talk to someone, he's, he's, a, he's not even a Muslim, he's a Christian. His name is a Christian prince. Well, you should beat him easy, very easy. You know, right away you can silence me, right? You are a scholar. Those are potatoes. They are dummy. They are just making a business, making a living, grow beard, have four wives. People, they don't go to work. They have no job. And what all what they do, they just call themselves scars and people pay them respect, pay them money. And they, good, good life. Life is good. You know, 60 boys, 60 kids, kids I, I, change I, I wives. Find, I, find some, I find some clarification also. That is uh, sometimes uh, in Quran, uh, uh, God, um, Allah uh, uh, address uh, himself by, uh, by saying we. And uh, I, I uh, question uh, that what is we? Why it is here uh, he use we? Uh, it should be used I. But uh, they, uh, they say uh, that uh, it is uh, 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 Majestic, uh, royal, majestic, majestic, royal, royal something. Yeah. But you see, this is explanation actually proving to us that Allah is false because if the human being he used we to make himself majestic, that's mean Allah he don't Maj feel like he is majestic if he say I. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, yes. That's mean it doesn't but, fit. Uh, it doesn't fit for Allah to be I. So he say we. Because why I want to. Is it is it is it a custom? Is it a customs of Arabian language? Well, even, you know, no, this is a custom for all languages, actually. Uh, in uh, When a king, he say, we, because the king, he, he uh, lead in the name of the nobles, not only him. You see, even the king, he don't lead in his name only. He say, we. That's why always he have the nobles around him, and they make a decision. And the nobles, usually, they agree with the king. Sometimes they disagree. 
That's why he say we. Like we, we the queen of England. But she is not ruling by herself. She have ministers, she have nobles. They agree, they have a crown prince. So we, because there is many authority and the king is the one who present all the authority. But when Allah, he say we, you see, if, uh, if the Muslim believe in God, he is a trinity like the Christians. Then if he say we, okay, I say I can let it go. We, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But this God, he is not God the Father, not God the Son, not God the Holy Spirit. Yet he say we, and the answer is, he is feeling better majestic. That's mean Allah is not satisfied with the word I. He don't like it. He feel like he is not enough respected. That's mean Allah, he seek to be we. This is the, this is the, the very horrible answer actually. That's mean Allah, he is not self-sufficient and he like to add description to his title to be more respected. And that description is we. I is not enough. Dear brother, I have another question too. That is, uh, according to Christianity, uh, Shaitan is uh, a fallen angel. Mm -hmm. But uh, in uh, Islam, uh, he, he is a uh, genie. Yeah. He is a genie. Mm -hmm. But what, uh, how uh, Iblis or Shaitan uh, fallen uh, angel i i can't uh i Very read simple. You see, by, by because ben, we christians I can't, I can't. yeah because we christian believe, believe in a free will yeah we believe in a free will you know yeah so uh because you have a free will even if you are an angel you can obey and angel disobey have free will too who does angel have free will too uh, uh, in, you mean in islam or in christianity in Christianity, we have a free will to everybody, angels, non-angels, everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. But, but how in this Islam, happened? But in, but in Islam, Please in, tell me how this happened. But in Islam, what do you mean? With God, he, you know, uh, 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 I have a free will. Like now, God, he says to me, don't do fornication. I can go and sleep around. Very simple. And then one day, I will be, I will answer for my action. The same for angel. He's an angel. He's, he did not create him to be, to be Satan. But he decided to disobey. Okay. How this Lucifer or um, angels uh, disobey God? How? When and how? Because of, because of, I, I want because, to know the story. Because of uh, because of the free will, you know, because of the free will. When God he decided, he told he told it, you know, he he gave his command. The the the, the one we call him Satan. He decided yes. to challenge God. And he to disobey God. And you can read, you know, you can go and read the Old Testament from the beginning and you can get more details. But remember, you know, the Old Testament is giving you a summary. Like, you know, when we speak about Adam and Eve, that he ate the apple and etc. But do you think really God, he cared for an apple? Is it really about an apple? No, it's about no. being disobedient. If it's an apple or it was a treasure, it's the same, you know? So... Uh, uh, what uh, uh, Lucifer or Shaitan? What orders disobey of Allah or God? So I don't understand what. What order? Lucifer or Shaitan? What orders disobey or violate Allah? That's why he is called fallen angel. What order? The, such as in Islam, Allah called uh, Iblis to bow down to Adam. Yeah. He didn't uh, do but, uh, No, no. You see, you see, uh, you see, Allah, he did not order Satan to bow down to Adam. I know, I I know there is no uh, explanation. There says angels only. Yeah. There is no says angel or genie. It's a question. But I want to know uh, in Christianity, which order he violates or disobey? Well, you can That's go, why he's you called can, fallen angel. You can go to Ezekiel, you know, book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, and you can read, or go to Isaiah 14, or, you know, many, they, 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 they tell you about the story. And, uh, 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 you know, simply, uh, when you disobey God, you are Satan too, even if you are human. You know, when you disobey yeah. God, because the Bible confirmed that the father of all lies is Satan. So when we lie, we are Satan. We are just his arm, his weapon, his tools, you know? So Satan, obviously, he disobeyed God, 
and because of that, he des you know he deserved uh, uh, to be punished one day. But because God, He is God of justice, He gave a free will to everybody to be or not to be. And when the Messiah, He said, "Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father." He present that we have free will. You can say word words. You can say, "I worship you," but if you don't do His will, you know. You don't belong to me. Mm. So the will you do, either you choose your will because you have a free will. But or according your free to will. Islam, the angels have angels have no free will. According to Islam, in Islam everybody have no free will. In Islam, everybody, everybody, oh, not is, not only angels. It's all about luck. Uh, 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 you see, actually in Islam, Islam is a stupid religion, and I will tell you why. Because how you say everything is destiny, and then you just say it that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down, correct? Mm. Okay, except shaitan, he disobey. Yes. But then we find that Allah, uh, he used shaitan, and shaitan, he did not really disobey. Shaitan. Mm, surah, surah Arab, surah, surah 7, verse 28, maybe, it says, Allah, uh, uh, astray shaitan like this yeah so Allah is the one who deceived shaitan Allah who mislead shaitan and uh, Allah, uh, and shaitan he said them await any when you deceive me you you, you led me uh, to deception I, I you know I, I become who, who I am so uh, so Allah he decided huh? chapter 7 verse 16 Verse 16, and this is exists in different places, not only in, in you know, in, uh, in this one. Yeah. Uh, uh, as an example, if you go in chapter 15, verse number 39, Iblis, he said, Shaitan, he said, Oh my Lord, because you mislead me, I shall indeed adorn the path of error. So because you mislead me, you are, Allah, he misled him. It's not Shaitan, he was misled. Fifty thirty-nine. You said fifty. Fifty thirty-nine. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen thirty-nine. Yeah. Fifteen thirty-nine. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you, you, you remember you, just to confirm this. You remember the story of Adam? Yes, Adam and Musa. Okay. Uh, no. The, 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 yeah, Adam and Musa. Yeah. But Adam in the Quran is the one who did eat from the tree, right? Yes. Okay. But as you see, when Adam he debated with Musa, he says, Allah, do you do you blame me? I, I, I asked the question, when this debate happened? Adam and Musa, uh, this is long distance, there is uh, between them. <laughs> this is stupid. When this you debate know, happened? This is a stupid argument because it, it's impossible, especially both of them, they are dead. You see, the Muslim believe that Jesus is only is alive, correct? But uh, Adam is dead, Abraham is dead, uh, Moses is dead, Muhammad is dead. So how they met and they have like, this is a stupid statement. But, but anyway, Muhammad, I'm so glad that Muhammad he don't keep his mouth shut. As long he agree that Adam he said that Allah is the one who deceived him, or Allah simply he wrote destiny for him, forty thousand years before he created him. That's mean the scenario of Satan and Adam is not the scenario of Adam or Satan. It was written by Allah. It was decided by Allah. And we cannot blame, yes. if, we, if we cannot blame Adam, that's mean we cannot blame Satan. I know there is an innocent child hadith, which Aisha said, and uh, if, uh, Khizir salam killed a boy. This all indicate that uh, there is only luck in Islam. There's no luck, actually. Islam is, there's no luck. Islam is a stupid religion. You see, luck, because even luck, you have to have a base. As an example, like I, I say, if you are playing cards and, uh, uh, you know, they say, okay, there's uh, four, car uh, four cards will win. But this God, he has given you cards. None of them will win. Because it is his decision. It's, you're, not, you're not playing. You are not in the game. It's Allah who's playing you. Allah, he decides if you win or not. Before he created you. So what is the gain?
The same as Adam, he commits sin, but he did not commit sin. So do you blame me for what Allah, he decided mm. for me in my fate 40 years before he created me? You know, you cannot, you cannot blame mm. me. And here you notice that Muhammad, he made another stupid mistake because the Muslims, they say that we Christians believe in the original sin. Original sin mean the sin of Adam. Because of Adam, we are out of heaven. You will notice here that obviously Moses, Muslims, they claim that Moses is a prophet, correct? Yes. Okay, how Moses died, and still he do not understand that in Islam, you cannot blame Adam for the sin. How come, he, how come this happened? Moses is a great prophet in Islam, according to Muhammadan. Yes. And here they are saying that Moses, he believed as the Christian believe. He believed in the original sin. He blamed Adam. Because of Adam, we are out. So the stupid Muhammad, by making such a story, he come to a, he, he, he gave us a great tool to prove Muhammad is a fraud because Moses himself, he do not believe in Islam. Because if Moses, he believe in Islam, then he should not blame Adam for such a thing. And this is why Muhammad, he agree with Adam that you cannot blame Moses, you cannot blame Adam, and he repeat that three times. He says, and this is Adam confuted Moses, and Muhammad, he repeat that three times. As usual, he is possessed with number three. Yes. Okay. I know. Uh, I I read this uh, hadith and um, many other hadith too. I have this question too. My friend, why you don't call your scholar and tell him? Uh, I want to see what you can, uh, how you can answer this. He can even choose the topic about Islam, anything you want. Why you don't call him? I want to show you. <laughs> Not only by talking to you that Islam is a stupid, I want to show you by talking to you, the one who teach you, that Islam is a stupid even for those masters who claim to be masters. Yes. And you know, the funny thing is, Allah in the Quran, He says, Inna ibadi lak, laysa laka alihum sultan. You have no authority over my people, right? Mm -hmm. You said that. Okay, but wasn't Adam, wasn't Adam from Ibadi? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wasn't him from... It says wasn't the very next ac verse. According to this. Muslims, Adam was a prophet. Adam was a prophet. Okay, so how he is a prophet and Allah, he stripped shaitan from authority over his mankind, those who follow him. Wasn't Adam at that time following Allah? <laughs> he did not commit sin yet. Same time, what about Muhammad? Is it Muhammad he claimed that Shaitan he command him? And Shaitan he throws satanic verses in his that mouth? Shaitan command him good. It says yeah. that. Not only this, isn't it Muhammad he you know the Muslim confirmed that Shaitan Muhammad received satanic verses? It's uh, the Quran indicates like this uh, Surah Hajj verse fifty two. It yeah. says it indicates something yeah. that no, in that indicate it's, you say that clearly. Because this is why Allah will, not, will delete it. You don't it's delete. clearly. Yeah. Yes, it is clearly. It is yeah. clearly says that Shaitan throws something yeah. also. So how how Shaitan have no authority over the decent followers of Allah? And then Shaitan he throw yes, in the yes. mouth of how Muhammad. Authority, authority means here. Yeah. The, uh, Shaitan will have no authority over uh, Rasul or uh, Nabiyan. Not only what him. Does it mean uh, authority. It, uh, authority mean to uh, to uh, to make to command him to make him could do sin. You know to fool him. You know. It's an it's a promise of protection. For you over my servant, you have no authority. Okay, and he made an exception. The one who is a criminal, Al Gawin, Al Gawin is the is the criminals, not just a a bad person. So Muhammad obviously he was one of the Gawin. He is not a good man because shaitan should not have authority over him unless he is an evil doer. So when shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, the Quran confirmed that obviously Muhammad is an evil doer.
Yes, okay, dear brother. I have uh, I have long desire to talk to you. Suddenly I uh, talk to that to you. Well, I but hope... my English is not good. No, you are fine, you are fine. <laughs> and my English is not good too. And who said that my English is good? But don't worry, Allah no, will make us speak in tongues. Very friend. good English. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. I hope soon you will get me your scholar or the one you call them scholars. Just to show you that there are a bunch of potatoes and we will fry them live on air. And they will never okay, dare to speak brother, to me. I have, a, I have a request for you. All right. To you. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, I, I can't find your uh, last book, Sex and Allah. My friend, you, uh, do not, you, do not, you do not need it anyway. We have a thousand, ten thousand videos of life on air. I explained them better than a book. No, no, there's no need. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You are not missing, you know. I mean, what we have is more than enough. What you have is more than enough to make you leave Islam. But obviously, you are afraid, maybe because you live there. I understand. All right. I will be happy okay. to to hear from you soon that you left Islam, or you can say it in private to me later, you know, or tomorrow as as you wish. If you do not want to announce it live in live and air, uh, for the sake of your safety, I understand. But uh, I want you to challenge those sheikhs to accept my challenge. If you dare, call me. If you dare, and I promise you, I will speak to them the same I am speaking to you. Yeah. Okay, dear. I I I will uh, call you, but uh, in private. You are uh, uh, not live. I will call I you. Go, not I, live. I don't open my Skype when I am not live. Just to let it, you know. But you can text me. You know, you can text in Skype because okay, I, okay. I open my Skype only when I'm live. So if people keep calling me, I'm not there. I will, I will, like now, I go off air. Even if I stay out of air for two months, I will never open Skype. I don't open it. I open it only for life on air. All right? Okay, okay. Just uh, tell me that you get me yes, a scholar, yes. Abdul, to go, to debate me, and we will be having a good time making him shish kebab. All right? Okay, if I have question, if I have any question, you can to call know, me when I'm live on then air. Then I, I will call you. All right, no problem. Take care. Okay, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Uh, you see, uh, you know, I mean, isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a frog? Isn't it obvious? Everything this guy he said is stupid, is extremely stupid. Not only scientifically is it stupid, you know, historically is it stupid. I mean, even his own logic is against his own logic. And the funny, what make it more funny, the Quran said, how come they cannot, uh, you know, deal with the Quran? Why it's very hard to them to deal with this book? If this book have contradiction, Allah, uh, if this is made by, I don't know, Allah, you will find contradiction in it. And this is what uh, Mimi Hijab, he said to this uh, guy, uh, Borat, you know, supposedly he, he's been smart, you know. They are even seeking atheist help. This is how desperate they are to fight Christianity. If this book is made by other than Allah, you will find contradiction in it. As mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> Do you see how it's stupid even the logic? Destroyed in two seconds. I have a phone book in Arabic and has zero contradiction. Does that make it from God? Do you see even how shallow how shallow the book. How in the world this is, can be a logic of God? So now anyone who write a book don't have contradiction, including me, is God. Because only Allah can write a book without contradiction. And then we find that all the book is a contradiction. And then we find that even Yellow Pages is more organized than the Quran. Like Yellow Pages start with A. If you if you look for the story of Adam, where do you find it? It's all over. Like it's like a it's, you know uh, uh, the Quran is like somebody who was dripping the area and there's a strong fan under his ass, and the poopoo is all over the wall and the ceiling. Where we can find the story of Adam, it's all over. Where we can find the story of Moses, is all over. 
where we can find the story of creation, it's all over. You open the Bible, you find, okay, God speak about creation in the book of Genesis. That's it. Everything is in order. In the Quran, you cannot find anything. So I want to say thank you guys for listening. I hope today we have a good time and we learned something useful. And again, when I say, guys, I'm going to come back when we have 20,000, that is not include that, that number when we are done. So now, when we finish now, if we have 10,000, hmm? because we want to, you know, we have 83, 4, 84,000 subscribers. So if only 10,000, 20,000 watch it, that means there's more than 60,000 did not watch the video yet. And what people do, sadly, they watch only the last video. Why? I do not know. It's maybe it's a fresh, like a tomato. You know, as if the video before it was nothing. So, uh, uh, we want more people to see. And the important about that is we want more people to learn. It's not about me. I'm sick of this topic. Honestly, I'm really sick of this stupidity. Garbage in, garbage out. I feel jealous from those who make videos making recipe about how to make salad. At least it's useful and tasty. This is poopoo. -poo. This is literally a poopoo. -poo. The Muslims, they are having jihad against Salamander because Salamander, he tried to kill Abraham. This is poopoo. -poo. This is not even good for kids. Even kids would laugh at it. The Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire, with the exception of the house lizard. Mm. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. This is Islam. This is Islam. This is what Muhammad said. Uh, do you watch cartoon? If you are good at making cartoon, make a cartoon. So we can, everybody will laugh. Comedy. If I am skilled in making cartoon, I will make every story of Muhammad cartoon. Because this is the best comedy ever. So they want to kill uh, Abraham. And everybody bring water to stop the fire. All the creature of Allah. I mean, how many elephants there is? How many cow, how many sheep, how many monkey, how many donkey? All the creature of Allah coming from around the world to stop the fire on Abraham, except Mr. Lizard. And what lizard he do? He blow at the fire. I mean, do you know, do you know how big the, the mouth of the Mr. Lizard? You see, the Muslims, they are talking about the lizard as if he's a, dra you know, a dragon, a dragon or, you know, it's a lizard. This lizard, he did this. I mean, this is really scary. All the creatures around the world. They wanted to stop the fire. But Mr. Lizard, the most evil, the Kafir, the enemy of Allah, he was blowing air so Abraham will be burned. That is giving us all the answers we are looking for. Lizard is the enemy of Allah. And Muhammad, he made a reward for killing the lizard from first hit. And still you are telling me you don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Uh, we have a Muhammadan. He's trying to call me. But I think I will not take uh, calls for today no more. Got some work to do.
This is Islam. Garbage in, garbage out. Literally. And we have one point, whatever, four or six, as they count themselves. Tomorrow they will say there are two billions. Just wait. They believe in such a garbage. And they want to do jihad against the lizard. Even they have fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Islam is my, in my opinion, I don't know about yours, is a certified garbage ideology. We try to tempt you so you run and you serve the devil. I will give you versions if you go and die for me. But Muhammad, he will not go to die and get the versions. Go and die. The versions are waiting. Each one of them, her ass is one mile. Even the size is mentioned in details. Even the private part is mentioned in details. How it look like, how it feel. How Allah will make her version each time you F her. Islam is not for the human race. It's not even convincing for cats and rats. So how any human being can be a fool to accept such a cult? Dangerous cult. Harmful cult. If you know somebody he claimed to be a sheikh, we will be happy to take him for a snack next time we go live on air. And until we do so, don't forget uh, to pray for those people in Ukraine and those who can support them, support them. And uh, we pray for peace and we pray that the Lord will punish those who kill just for to make in their own false glory. Criminals around the world destroying cities and towns of people, human, kicking them out of their houses. Muhammad is dead. But there's many Muhammadis exist today. Even some of them, they claim to be Christians. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam without a lie, die. See you soon. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, 
and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs>